In the first part of this video, I'm going to work through this word problem using algebra. Two stores had a combined total of 200 fitness trackers. After store A sold half of its trackers and store B sold two thirds of its trackers, each store had the same number of trackers left. How many trackers did each store have initially and how many trackers did each store have left? Let's, let's think about writing down a couple of equations to represent the information that's given to us in the question. So we're told that the two stores had a combined total of 200 fitness trackers. If we let, let A represent the number of fitness trackers that store A has and B represent the number of fitness trackers that store B has, then A plus B must equal 200. We're told that A sold half of its trackers, so it must have half of its trackers still left. And B sold two thirds of its trackers, so it must have one third of its trackers left. And we're told that each store had the same number of trackers left, so therefore half of A must equal one third of B. Let's simplify this equation here by multiplying both sides of this equation by two. On the left hand side we'll have two times a half times A which is equal to A, and on the right hand side we'll have two times one third B, which is two thirds B. Okay, now we have an equation that has A and B in it up here, and another equation that has A and B in it here we need to solve these two equations. One way to do that is to substitute into the first equation the value of A from the second equation. So the value of A in the second equation is 2 thirds of B. So if we substitute that in here, we'll have 2 thirds of B plus B equals 200. Now we need to solve this equation for B. It only has B in it now, it doesn't have A. We need to add 2 thirds of B and B. If we use a common denominator here of 3, if we write B as 3 over 3 times B, and we have 2 over 3 times B here, in total, we'll have 5 over 3 times b. And finally, if we multiply both sides of this equation by 3 over 5, 3 over 5 times 5 over 3 is 1. And on the right hand side, we'll have 3 over 5 times 200. And finally, 3 over 5 times 200, if we calculate that, that comes to 120. And if B equals 120, we can use this equation to figure out what A is equal to. A is equal to 2 thirds of B, 2 thirds of 120 is 80. So how many trackers did each store have initially? Store A had 80 trackers, store B had 120 trackers. 
what about how many trackers did each store have left? Well, A sold half of its trackers. It started with 80, so it must have 40 left. Store B sold two thirds of its trackers. It started with 120, so it must have sold 80 trackers and have 40 left. And that matches the information we were given in the question. That after store A sold half of its trackers and store B sold two thirds of its trackers, each store had the same number of trackers left, 40. Let's take a look at a, a diagram that might help us understand the solution. Let's think about store A. It sold half of its trackers and had half of its trackers left. Let's represent the half of its trackers it sold using this red rectangle and the half of its trackers it had left as this blue triangle rectangle. <laughs> They're the same size because they represent a half of the total number of trackers that store A had. Store B sold two thirds of its trackers. So let's represent those two thirds with the red rectangles and it has one third left, that's the blue rectangle. And I drew these rectangles the same size because we're told that each store had the same number of trackers left. So that's why these rectangles are the same size. The two stores had a combined total of 200 fitness trackers. We've got five equal size parts. So in each part, there must be 40 trackers and that matches up with our solution from using algebra. Store A sold 40, had 40 left. Store B sold 80, had 40 left. We'll go on in part two to solve another word problem using algebra.